Folks, I'm here with today's special panel, and we're tackling some recent uh, racially controversial stories in the news. Donald Trump has been vocal on a lot of issues during his run for the White House, but maybe no issue has been more controversial than his talk on immigration. He's used words such as criminals and rapists to describe Latino immigrants. Should Trump's words be considered hate speech? Start with Sonny. Wow. So I got that first question. <laughs> um, you know, I, as a lawyer, I know that it doesn't legally qualify as hate speech, right? But as a human being, I think certainly the comments are hateful. I am Latino, I'm African American, and I call that sort of dog whistle politics. When I hear it, I'm like, oh, he's talking about me. And it's uncomfortable, and I think it's divisive. I mean, you want to talk about illegal immigration. I think we can all agree we're a nation of laws. We want to follow the law. We want other people to follow the law. But when you claiming that an entire group of people, all Mexicans are racist and all Mexicans are murderers. My goodness, how are you going to be the leader of our country? Mm -hmm. Katie? Well, I would say as a millennial that the reason why Donald Trump is doing better than all the other GOP candidates, including Jeb Bush, who supports a path to citizenship among the millennial generation and among women, is because they've grown up watching The Apprentice and they've seen that he's had many minorities on that show and he's praised them and he's promoted them and helped advance their careers, not only within The Apprentice, but also within his real estate company. So mm -hmm. I don't think that he's racist. I think that his statements have been taken out of context by the media, mm -hmm. as Crystal was alluding to. Okay, Bakari? No, I, I just have to disagree. I don't think his statements were taken out of context at all. I think what Donald Trump has done is uh, he's taken this page six tabloid type of politics and brought it to the mainstream. And I'm not necessarily certain what political tact he's taking by insulting one of the fastest growing populations in the entire country. Because Steve, as you know, the country's getting browner. And I, I don't want to call it hate speech. Uh, it's not truth speech, but I do think it's bigotry. Mm -hmm. And we have to elevate the level of discussion. If we want to talk about comprehensive immigration and immigration reform, let's have that dialogue without denigrating a group of people. Yeah. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> I mean, yeah. great, great point, guys. Uh, I'm just a comedian, so selfishly, I just wanted to be president for the material. Um, I feel like that's going to be gold. But when he said, uh, you know, he's going to build the wall, from Mexico to the US, I was like, doesn't he know Latino people have helicopters and planes? Haven't you seen Narcos? Yeah. <laughs> okay? I mean, I laugh at it, but on a serious note, I mean, you know, you, you can't talk that way because that's, uh, you know, to, to, to generalize anything, to anybody who generalizes anything, I think is a fool. Yeah, yeah. So that's what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. See, he, here's what I think. It's so hypocritical. Mm -hmm. Everybody hires illegal immigrants. Everybody. You, you get rid of illegal immigrants, I got news for you. You can get rid of a lot of industries. The, the farming industry goes down. The food, the restaurant business, the construction, it goes down if you get rid of them. So what we got to stop doing is quit right, saying we right. want to get rid of them when we the ones that's hiring them. That's true. That's true. Well, when we enable them, we enable yeah. the problem. I agree. I agree. All right. Hey, listen, a very special thanks to Katie, Crystal, Chris, Sonny, and Bakari. Uh, catch Chris on IFC's Benders Thursday nights at 10.